Rufus, we do have team coverage here on this massive fire. Our reporters have been on the ground in South Park monitoring the situation all day. We do want to start with our Jane Monreal, who's been at the scene since this morning, gathering information, talking with officials, talking with folks on scene. Jane joining us live right now, particularly concerning Jane, the, the word of these missing people. Hopefully you're getting some updates here. What can you tell us? Well, uh, Vanessa, we have been covering this and heard about the two people that are unaccounted for uh, since early this morning. We are now, uh, by the way, on Fairview and Barkley Downs, where they reopen lanes on the westbound side of Fairview. But uh, you can see there that the crane uh, pretty much burned to a crisp. Those flames really worked their way up and where that water dousing the building still, although plenty of fire trucks that were at one time blocking Fairview now have cleared from the scene. But at one time, more than 90 firefighters flooding this area when that fire moved up this structure still under construction. That smoke could be seen for miles. And tonight we do know that two people are still missing. Emotions running high for two men who say their brother was trapped. Still no word on his condition at this time. However, Charlotte Fire Chief Reginald Johnson telling us they were able to rescue 15 workers, including a crane operator. He was taken to the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. Chief Johnson saying the department also had several mayday calls. The mayday is when crews get trapped or have access issues of escaping due to the fast moving fire. And, and a mayday is required when we have to send other firefighters to rescue those companies. And we had two of those as they were attempting to rescue uh, all of the construction workers that were in the uh, building at the time. According to the construction foreman, there are two construction workers that are unaccounted for. Chief Johnson telling us that that fire burned at 2000 degrees and had plenty of the exposed wood uh, for fuel to keep that fire going as this again still under construction. We do know that neighboring fire departments from Pineville, Wesley Chapel, as well as Midland and Steel Creek did uh, help run calls for Charlotte as their crews were here on scene. Live in South Park, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. Yeah, tough to imagine that inferno that those firefighters had to go and battle. Jane, thank you for the latest there. Continuing with the team coverage, we want to bring you in with our Austin Walker. Austin, as those flames engulfed the apartment complex, hundreds of people, they stood outside watching. Many people trying to escape the area even. It was a scary sight for a lot of people, and you've been talking with those people in the area that saw a lot. What are they saying and telling you tonight? Yes, yeah, saw a lot is definitely an understatement. It was extremely uh, a, a big event out here today, and a big talking point was actually the air quality. When those flames erupted, they were they were very big, very aggressive and fierce, causing a lot of smoke and that wind pushing the smoke into this area. People over here saying that it was actually sometimes hard to breathe because of how thick the air was. And now earlier this morning, just after nine o'clock, we got here and there were hundreds of people out here watching those flames. We saw pieces of the building actually coming off of the building because it was just charred and, and, and just falling apart at that point. And they say it was hard to breathe, like we mentioned. They tell me their chest was been tight and, and that smoke was just making their throat and eyes hurt. And you know we can attest to that as well. Earlier today, it was extremely hard to breathe and our eyes are, are pretty red. But thankfully, things have cleared out just a little bit. That wind has shifted just a little bit more and those flames have died out. So it's not nearly as bad as it was. But CMPD and Charlotte Fire have moved us back multiple times earlier this morning because of how dangerous those flames were and how that smoke was pouring into this area. The reason for this, they say they don't know what was burning. They couldn't tell you what was in those chemicals that was burning and, and how dangerous it could have been. But still, those impacts were definitely felt out here. Gray everywhere and you, you can smell it. I mean, people were saying you could see it from Bojangles Coliseum area, everything drifting that way. It was very hot in the smoke and uh, the water in my eyes. It was insane. I've never experienced anything like this. And so a lot of emotions out here because, again, they have never seen anything like this. Um, we want to reiterate to you that at that time it was very hard to breathe. And if you were in this area, um, they tell us that if you if you were here, if you're still here, you should still stay inside because, again, they to reiterate, they do not know what was in those chemicals and and how it could affect somebody and it could be dangerous. So just to be safe, uh, more safe than sorry in that situation. But we out here, we'll be out here live at six o'clock as well, bringing the latest updates. But for now, live in South Park, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte. Yeah, 
great reminder for folks to stay in if they don't have to go out. I know at one point we saw it on our radar. That's how thick that smoke was, not just in shades of green, but also deeper yellows too. So very impactful there. Austin, thank you so much. We'll check